Hi guys, it's Aaliyah. Welcome back to my channel. And welcome back to, I think this is now part three. Um, yeah, because in the first video we created the cover. Second video we decorated the inside of the cover. And now I want to create the signatures. So this is basically, and I'm think, I'm hoping my math is right because it would be really embarrassing if I got on here and it wasn't correct. Um, so these are both the signatures. Let, I'm just going to put this one aside for now, just so I don't get confused. Um, so basically, if I'm thinking about this correctly, so this is the middle, this is the first page, sec, you know, the second one, but then we have to have papers in here and then we have to papers in here. So what I did is I did a page and then five random papers, a page, five random papers, and then the middle. So that's the thought process behind of what I'm hoping this is going to accomplish. <laughs> so I've, I've already taken out, um, oops, nope, hold on this. Okay. I've already chosen the papers for each of the middles or each of the signatures. All right. So these are for the other two. So let me put that aside now. So yeah, so basically I think this is going to work because here's the five pages, uh, one, two, three, four, five. Yep. And then five and then, yeah. All right. Actually, I'll put that aside too. So I know I want this as my front page. So I'm just going to do a little, um, folding. So when you open the journal, this is the first page you'll see. And then we'll have the second page here. Hmm. No, that's okay. I was thinking maybe fold it the other way, but now I, I kind of like that in the front. Okay, and then the middle signature is going to be this. All right, so that's the easy part. Now, these, because everything has to be basically eight by eight. Um, so I don't know. All right, so this is actually one and a quarter too big. But you know what? We'll just cut off the last little bit so I said one and a quarter right yeah and of course I think we'll still have to cut stuff down just because that's the way it always works with the journals all right so and I know the height is not an issue because that's yeah all right so let's see so again actually if I just oh look at the back is blank that's kind of cool I'm going to just cut off the edge just like that so he's closer but let me just see how oh it's still a quarter of an inch but that's all right we can just take it from this side because this side is completely blank and it doesn't really matter all right so I'm gonna have him like that and I'll probably have to see how it cracked. Oh, but the inside's good. I might just put some tape over it just in case. But let's get the pages done first. And I don't know how much of this we're going to actually get done. So we'll just kind of play it by ear. Uh, now this one. I don't know how long. So... This is extra long, so eight's about right there. This is eight, nine, ten, like eleven and oh, eleven and a half. So if we did, we could actually, you know what I'm gonna do? Hold on, I'm gonna fold this in half, and then once we fold all the pages, we're gonna fold it in more. So you know what I mean? All right, so that's fine. And then these two are eight and a half by eleven. Oh no, not really. But it has to be basically eight by eight. So I'm going to take the first one and we're gonna cut it down to 
eight. By eight, which is going to do that. It always looks smaller, but not the same size. All right, and this one is going to be again eight by. Alright, so now we're gonna repeat that for this the second you know section. So let me hold on. All these are gonna be in the first like that, and then these are gonna go in between here. Alright, so I forgot now how much did I take off with this? I want to say an inch and a quarter. Yeah, I'm pretty sure it was an inch and a quarter. Okay, so we have that. And then this one we cut off here. And then we also did another quarter of an inch on this side. All right. Let's do that. Okay, and then this was completely in half. See, it gets a little easier once you finish the first one because then you, you've already brainstormed kind of how you want to do everything. Now this is going to be 8 by 8, so we're going to do 8 by 8, and it's Okay, so we have that. And actually, I, I, I think I have an idea for these scraps that we're cutting out. So um, definitely hold on to the scraps. Always hold on to scraps so you can become a hoarder just like me. No, I'm just joking. <laughs> Okay, so now let's get this all folded up this aside for a moment and see how this all is. All right, so that is the second part here. Okay, so technically we're going to have her and then I actually want this. So these are our choices. Let's do that one. And so I'm thinking him next. And then this one. Oh, you know what? I don't think I ever. Is it eight? Oh, it is eight. Oh, well, that's lucky. Okay. And then that. Okay, so then we have the second signature, and I, I'll, should I do them the same? No, let's just do a little bit out of order, because why not, right? That, and that, and then the middle. So technically, that is our first signature. Um... I think what I'll do is I'll finish completely this one and then I'll do the other signature um, off camera because it'll be basically the same thing over again. Yeah, but now we have to do a little cutting. So I'm going to get my thing back up here. So I'm using this, the top page, as my kind of as my guide. Now, I know that I don't want to cut the music paper, but I am going to cut this. So I, I just mark a little where I want to cut, and then I'm going to take the music paper out. Okay, so it's just this one anyway. So I'm just going to give it a little cut, a little cutsy-poo. All righty. 
Oh, and I do have to tape. You know what? Let's tape up that before I forget, just because I don't want to, I don't want to forget. So if you ever have any tape, I'm uh, not tape, any pages that are a little bit gentle or not gentle, um, delicate. Uh, I honestly, I just use scotch tape or you could use washi tape, but when you use washi tape, well, when I use washi tape, I like to just, um, put an extra little glue on it just to make sure that, you know, it's definitely going to stick where I find the scotch tape because it's, you know, actual tape that you use to tape things up. It's uh, pretty good um, with the stickiness. Whoops. All right. And then after what I do is I just make sure that everything is just nice and stuck. And the scotch, I use that because you usually can't see it. I mean, sometimes you'll see a little bit of it, um, but it's mo mainly there just to make sure that the page is, um, uh, you know, strong enough so it doesn't, it doesn't rip. Okay, so this is the next page that went in there. See how now they're nice and lined up? There's a little, who's this guy? Eh, let me see. I think it's the book page. Yeah. I'm just going to take just a smidge, like a tiny, itty bitty smidge off of it. Like the tiniest of tiny smidges. Okay, so that was in there. And then that guy is in there. Now, with this one here, all right, um, this is going to be a little bit more, okay, so to make sure it's going to be here, but I want to do it a little bit more in like there. So I think I'm going to do, and I'm not measuring, I'm just kind of, you know, guesstimating where I want it to be um, in far enough that if I do do any cuts, uh, it will be safe. And I mean, I can turn it into a pocket. Um, I can use it as a flip out. I don't know what I'm going to do yet, but I'm just going to, you know, put it down a little bit. So that way, see how it's, it, it still has enough room if I do any more cutting. All right. So let's put that back in. And let's see. I see something sticking out here. I'm just going to mark it. And I'm going to cut that down a little bit. So... Let me, let me see if I can cut this much. I'm thinking I can. We'll find out. Hopefully I can. So again, it looks like it's just another little smidge. Oops. Just like that. Why does this look so much more on the top? Okay. I think. No, oh, almost. It's a little too much. Well, it's okay. I'm going to use the scissors. To cut that little last piece off. There we go. All right, now let's see what it looks like. Perfect. See, can't see it. Alrighty, let me just get rid of this so it doesn't get in the way. And now this again, I know that we're going to fold this down, so let me put it in and just see. Oh, let me move this. All right, so it's basically here, but we're gonna go probably to right there. I'm gonna take this out, and again, I'm going to, see there's no real measuring, I'm just kind of guesstimating, you know? 
perfect. All right, and now we have just a little bit left. I'm gonna go like this. This is our last cut. Um, and it's actually the middle signature and the, uh, the um, book page. All right, so not that much, maybe a little bit more. Perfect. Okay, line that up. And, okay, good, we still have enough of the clock, which I'm grateful for because I love that image. And then, all right, let's see what we got now. So, here is our first signature. Oh, we got, maybe should make sure it goes in here. Oh, yeah, see, plenty of room. Oh, you can't really see. Good. All right, so let's take a look. So here it is. We have this page, then we have this page, we have that, we have this gentleman, the music paper, another one of the pages. That's so pretty. And then we get to the middle and then all the back sides of the pages. So that is gonna be the first signature, and pretty much the second signature is gonna be uh, very similar. Just, you know, the pages, I oh, love that. The pages will be a little bit different, but same idea. And I'll do the same exact thing that I did with this one. Cut down the pages and then put them all together and then cut down, oh, look at the kitty at the end. All right, so that is the signature. So I will, off camera, I will do the other one, and then we will be back for the next video, which will probably be the, the, oh, you know what? I think, um, it's either going to be sewing in the signatures or, um, making pockets and stuff. I, I'm not sure which one I want to go to first, but one or the other. So stay tuned. Uh, but as always, thank you so much for watching, and I will catch you on my next video. Bye.